A big difference uh, between standards reference grading and traditional grading is that you're looking more closely at the standards that students are required to learn. And the standards actually get down in more fine or finer detail about, about whether it's a piece of math that um, a student might need to learn about geometry. So what are the elements of geometry that a student would need to learn? And then those elements are graded, not necessarily one test. Now, the teacher will be able to see what the score is on each benchmark and know that maybe an 80% overall was, was the score, but really on this particular benchmark, the student scored zero. There was no proficiency there at all. This allows the teacher to really zero in on the weak areas and to know what the areas of strength are to support those through enrichment. Well, I think one of the things that we see right now in, in public education across this nation is the use in the introduction of the Common Core Standards. The state has ruled out a timeline for Common Core Standard implementation, and it's based on various grade levels. And Volusia has been very much aware of this timeline and working diligently to make sure that it's implemented correctly. And these Common Core Standards, as we keep talking about, instead of being an inch thick, um, and a mile long, we're shortening the depth of, uh, we're shortening the curriculum and going much deeper. Um, so the idea is that students are going to have to know more about specific content. And uh, I think when we do that, uh, and where standards reference will be helpful in that, is we'll be able to see the layering of how that curriculum fits and how well the students know each of those curriculums. Um, so that's going to be beneficial uh, as well to the students as they look at, at the change in Common Core curriculum. I mean, this is probably the best time while we're talking about shifting to Common Core to shift our thinking about how is it that we hold students accountable in the work that they're doing and how are we grading students to make sure that we as teachers have the best data on our students so that we can address their true strengths and weaknesses. There are new ways that we are measuring students and these new systems that are in place are um, definitely giving us a bird's eye view of everything that's going on and um, using the parent portal the way we used to where we would just get online to see what they got on their interim four weeks into the grading period or what they got at the end of the grading period really was um, kind of hindsight. That's not what we needed to know in order to help support them. So a new system like this information system that Volusia County is using now gives us a daily perspective of every little detail that's going on so that we can help our own children in, in our homes at night with whatever they need to to feel successful at school. What we see with the implementation of the Common Core is that we that our student engagement is enhanced. Our students, our students are more engaged in group activity. They're more engaged in that interdisciplinary um, activity in the classroom, where we're not just teaching science, or we're not just teaching math, or we're not just teaching writing or reading, but an integration of those subject matters. So we have an interdisciplinary approach. And I think ultimately that we're enhancing all of their skills, and they're learning from their peers, which I think is fabulous. You know, being able to really become integrated in the classroom, and being able to learn and to benefit. And for those students that may be lagging behind just a little bit, they're building their self-esteem by being able to buddy up with somebody else. It also enables the kids to um, reach out to their teacher if they didn't meet the goal that day and it gives the a line of communication um, for the teacher and the parent and the student so they all know what's going on. The students can use it to self-monitor and parents can use it to help collaborate communication between the teachers, the parents and the students and I think overall it's a huge benefit for everybody to have that kind of information and hold our children responsible for their own learning. We talk about standards reference grading, but what I'm excited about is that the standards themselves are changing today. So we're going from just these standards to now real world problems, real world scenarios. These are these new common core standards that are coming out. And so students are going to be asked to take, um, not just to understand a war, but to take a, uh, a position on the war and now defend that uh, position with evidence. Can you cite evidence? Is that evidence credible? And then looking at how I can take what I'm learning in the social studies classroom and apply it into a math classroom. So interconnecting those standards so that we reinforce them cross content um, helps that student be more versatile when they get out into the world and they're working at this workplace, but they have to deal with somebody else's workplace. So always making those cross connections.
If you think about a science teacher who goes through a unit and teaches all kinds of uh, concepts and vocabulary and um, maybe does some lab work with students and at the end of the unit the student comes out with a grade that's perhaps based on a test and a couple worksheets or activities and the student might have a grade of a C. But the student and the teacher and the parent don't really know what that C means in relation to all the different content, what that means in relation to what the student knows, what parts of that unit did the student really get at perhaps an A or B level, and what parts of that unit did the student really struggle with below a C level to make that average come out to a C. And so it's important to know specifically uh, what areas our students are learning and learning well, and what areas we need to remediate and strengthen for them. So from the parent perspective, being able to log into Volusia IMS and get daily reporting on your student will be really helpful as you support your student in their learning because not only will you be able to see their attendance, you'll be able to see where they're working with standards. And so as a parent, you'll have the data, you'll have that access to that information so that you can help your student, you can support your student along their journey of learning and getting to those standards. Yeah, my parents helped a lot more after they actually were involved, they became involved and um, they, they started uh, asking me about, you know, what, what is this you're struggling with, can I, you know, can we help, let's look at it, or, you know, do you want us to get a tutor to help you with, or, because it was visually there and it wasn't just a grade, you know, it, as a whole, what's wrong, it's, you can pinpoint small, you know, details of, of what you're, what you're you know, missing or not completely understanding. I know that the parents do like real time. I, mean, I know that they are interested in their child's welfare and their being at school. And they do want to know what their progress is and they don't want to wait for five weeks or 10 weeks to find out. And many of them do call to check on their kids and isn't it a wonderful thing that they're involved. 